It's Monday night in September. We welcome you to the Monday night kickoff. And as always, Trayvon Diggs is locked in on the best receiver on the field. In this game, it's his older brother, Stefan. I think he scores this drive. Touchdown. The Diggs brothers are so close, they even communicate during games. Halftime come around. If I have a message for my little brother, I'm going to check it. I always lean on my little brother for, you know, being my eyes in the sky. What do you think your message at halftime will be to him? Like, just positive encouragement. We've been going at it for my whole life. Long before they both became all pros, competition had been a way of life for Stefan and his younger brother. <laughs> you know, it's back and forth now. When we was younger, he used to win all the time. Any game that we would play, I would always win. The origin of their football story resides in Montgomery County, Maryland. But their journey is rooted in a father's love. Aaron Diggs made sure to pass on his love of the game to his sons. He started us off in football. Like my little brother started at four, I started at five. He kind of instilled that passion for us. I think he loved the aggressiveness about it. I was just playing, you know, because that's what my brothers is doing. That's just what was in our family. That was just our way. Their mother, Stephanie, worked as the lead service attendant for Amtrak, often traveling days at a time. Aaron, meanwhile, oversaw three critical areas for the family, education, discipline, and football. His most important job, he was a stay-at-home dad. I was on the road, and he was able to be hands-on with the kids. He was more so like the tough love kind of guy. He was serious, and he didn't play too many games, so I can always keep that in the forefront of the mind. You know, he wasn't really that hard on me, but, you know, I seen how he is, and I respect him. We had a lot of in-depth conversations where he was teaching me certain things at a young age that I kind of caught on to. But Aaron's health began to deteriorate. On January 16th, 2008, Aaron died of congestive heart failure at the age of 39. Stefan was 14. Trayvon was only nine. It was hard being with him every day, seeing him every day. Just having that influence in my life and then losing it. Those first couple of years, it was hard, it was tough. I got my tears out at the time and I, at that point, after that, I kind of felt like I had to leave. It was what his father wanted, for Stefan, to look after the family. Protect my little brother, lead him, and love. My dad wasn't a huge pat on the back guy, but some people need to be loved up sometimes because not only is sports hard, but life's hard. While assuming more of a fatherly role with Trayvon, Stefan became an All-American and a five-star recruit. Intercepted it, Stefan Diggs. He goes all the way for the touchdown. He was always doing something spectacular. Had the crowd roaring, it was fun. He had a choice, leave and play for a prominent powerhouse, or stay close to Trayvon. Stefan chose home and the University of Maryland. If I'm close, then I can come tighten them up, have some serious conversations with them, the ones that my dad had with me. God damn near like kind of gave him a lot of the cheat codes when we were younger. He listened too, he took advantage of having somebody in his ear that actually had that experience. After college, Stefan was drafted by the Vikings in the fifth round in 2015. One year later, Trayvon committed to Alabama to play wide receiver. But because of a crowded depth chart, head coach Nick Saban moved Trayvon to defensive back. I think he loved playing receiver, but I also think that he saw a future for himself at corner as well as his family, including his brother and his mother. Once again, Stefan's fatherly advice came through. I caught him. As soon as that happened, I was mad. Like, bro, you want me to play corner? He was like, well, figure it out. <laughs> That's the type of love that my dad gave. Not necessarily pats on the back, more so like figuring it out. You know, just tough love, but I know that you got my best interest. Intercepted! 
intercepted. Trayvon Diggs. The position switch paid off. Trayvon was first team All-American as a senior, then in 2020, he was drafted in the second round by the Dallas Cowboys. We grew up Cowboys fans, like, and that's my dad's favorite team. And this was my dad's plan, just to have his sons in the NFL, and just me to be drafted to his favorite team. Everything happened for a reason. I was damn near about to cry just because it worked out how it was supposed to. So him playing for America's team made everybody's heart a little warmer. Football has been at the center of their lives for as long as they can remember. But the bond between the Diggs brothers is far more important than any game. So is Stefan's promise to their late father, to always be his brother's keeper. I always contact my brother before and after the game, and sometimes I text him during the game while he's on the field. At times I'll be like, just sit on the route, your pick is coming. And he'll text me if he sees something during the game. As soon as I go in the locker room, I knew he'd text me like, if I'm having a bad game or I'm doing something here, just give me, you know, little words of encouragement. Like, come on, let's go, second half, let's shake back. Oh my God, Aaron would be in his glory, like his son's place for the NFL. He would be trash talking every Sunday. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.